guys! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I will answer some questions na tinanong sa akin sa Instagram. Uh, let's start! First question, <laughs> what's the baby's gender? So this is from Mrs. Van Wingerden. Okay, so what's the baby's gender? Uh, we will have a gender reveal soon. <laughs> Uh, very, very soon, malalaman nyo na ang gender ng aming baby. Uh, let's go to the next question. What was the first thing you had in your mind when you found out that you're pregnant? This question is from I am Camille underscore I am Raquel. So, this is from Ate Raquel. First thing na pumasok sa isip ko when I found out that I was pregnant is sobrang happy. <laughs> Actually, puro happiness siya. Happiness. Tapos, nung nag-sink in na sa akin na pregnant ako, pumasok din yung uh, nervousness and all. Mixed emotions. Pero, mas lamang yung happiness tsaka excitement. Kasi, we've been waiting uh, for this. Really talaga, we've, we've been praying for this. And we were both happy when we found out that I was pregnant. Uh, this is a follow-up question also from Ate Raquel. Do you have plan to move in Germany after giving birth? We don't have any plan yet to move in Germany after giving birth. But uh, we've been talking about moving to Germany someday. <laughs> There are really good benefits sa Germany na gusto namin makuha ng baby namin. And also the healthcare system in Germany is really good. So... We've been thinking about it also. Next question. When and where do you plan to get married? So this question is from I am Hasminia. We will get married once our papers arrive because our only problem is the papers. And since since it's COVID, sobrang na-delay nang na-delay yung pag-process ng papers namin. But uh, as soon as we receive the papers, We will really push through the wedding. And where? Dito sa Pilipinas. We will get married here in the Philippines. And yon. we're just waiting for the papers. <laughs> Next question. Can morning sickness be compared to a hangover? This question is from Rian Drawar. Actually, hindi ako pala inom, so I don't know how hangover feels like. But I guess uh, morning sickness and hangover is two different things. Because morning sickness is like, for example, when you're pregnant and you have morning sickness, everything na kainin mo or inumin mo, isusuka mo siya. Unlike kay hangover na pag may hangover, all I know about hangover is masakit yung ulo mo, tapos... Uh, there will be a vomiting also, but the two things are way different from each other. So next, uh, follow-up question again from her. Gender reveal, yes. Uh, Mag-gender reveal kami ni Patrick very, very soon. And the next, follow-up question again. Any weird cravings? So actually, so far, wala naman akong weird cravings. Like uh, tulad nung iba na... Sinasawsaw yung mangga sa ketchup, ganyan. Wala naman akong ganun. Normal naman lahat ng kinakain ko. <laughs> so, ayun. The only weird, when I'm eating Sky Flakes, yung plain lang, I want to partner it with cheese whiz. I want to dip it in cheese whiz. Kasi sometimes, I have this uh, craving na gusto ko yung salty food or gusto ko ng chips or something. But since I'm pregnant, at iniiwasan ko yung pagkain ng chips kasi hindi siya healthy. <laughs> so, in replacement for that, I will eat uh, Sky Flakes. Tapos, I will dip it in a cheese whiz. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's weird or what. But for me, I really like it. Kasi nasusob niya yung cravings ko when it comes to something salty. The next... A uh, follow-up question again from her. What do you usually crave for? Actually, wala talaga akong cravings. As in, hindi ko alam kung normal or something. <laughs> Pero wala akong cravings. Hindi ako yung katulad ng iba na pag... For example, there are some pregnant women kasi na pag buntis sila, gusto nila ng ganito, ng ganyan. Tapos patatakbuhin nila yung asawa nila to buy something na gusto nila. Ako, wala akong ganun. Uh, sumot yung aking pregnancy and also pabor din kay Patrick. Ganyan. Kasi wala akong specific cravings. Ayun. <laughs> Next, 
How is pregnancy so far? Question from the Lampineers. So, so far, my pregnancy, sobrang smooth niya. Sobrang smooth sailing. Ayan. Uh, besides sa morning sickness ko nung aking first trimester, uh, so far, ang aking pregnancy ay very, very smooth sailing. Walang, wala akong masyadong sakit na nararamdaman or something. Except sa back pain sometimes. Pero it's just... Uh, normal pag pregnant ka. Ayun, next. Hi sis, I would like to ask if when will be your wedding. So yeah, the wedding is uh, soon once the paper arrived. I cannot tell when, pero hopefully very very soon. Next question. Why you choose to live in Philippines rather than in Germany? Bakit nga ba namin piniling tumira dito sa Pilipinas? So, unang-una sa lahat, when we started this relationship, I told Patrick na uh, gusto ko dito sa Pilipinas tumira because if, if we will going to move in Germany, it will be a long process. Plus, I need to study their language and uh, their language is kind of hard. <laughs> So, ayun. So, we decided na dito na muna kami sa Pilipinas tumira and wait until makasal kami and all. And then, uh, after that, uh, we will reopen the topic in living in Germany. <laughs> so, actually, uh, choice namin dalawa na dito tumira sa Pilipinas kasi nagustuhan din ni Patrick ang Pilipinas, especially ang ating beaches. Sobrang gustong gusto niya. The cost of living also is cheaper compared to Germany. So, ayan. Next question is from Marie. Considering that you still haven't been in Germany yet, when might it be possible for you to visit Patrick's homes? Are you already planning ahead for it? So, actually, we were talking about nga uh, to visit Germany. Siguro, uh, once the baby is out already, siguro mga couple of years after that, uh, we will plan our visit in Germany kasi... Uh, he wants also na ma-experience ko ang Germany before deciding or before we make our decision na mag-move sa Germany. Because Patrick said na it's important na ma-experience ko muna o uh, mabisita ko muna ang Germany before deciding uh, na mag-move sa Germany because he doesn't want me na maka-experience ng culture shock kapag dinala niya ako agad sa Germany tapos wala man lang ako background, di ko man lang nabisita and he really wants me to experience yung snow and also especially once yung baby is here already may experience din ni baby ang Germany o yung snow doon, ayan at saka mamimit din ni baby ang kanyang grandparents at ang kanyang mga pinsan at tita so yon we're kind of excited to visit Germany and hopefully the COVID will be gone by that time so that hindi kami mag-worry para sa health ni baby. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful questions, guys. And uh, hopefully, nasagot ko naman ang inyong questions. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!